Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 53 Round of 16 match between Dung and his Necromantic versus Vlad GR and his Norse. Uh, Vlad GR has a wizard and a babe in inducements and in the booth is Squirrel Dude. Hello! Howdy, two of the diciest teams on board will square off. <laughs> yeah, Norse are, Norse are supremely dicey, aren't they? Um, haven't got a lot going for them with this team. 13 players, a strength guy, two strength guys, and a uh, Pommer and a dirty player. Had to jump lineman. This it's Necro team. This Necro team is, is decent apart from it's only got one wolf. <laughs> and the wolf it has is just a weird wolf. Um, yeah, just a really weird wolf, right? He's taking block. He's taking rest instead of block. And he's taking tackle instead of dodge. Um, and he's taking juggernaut instead of mighty blow. So, yep. And obviously Benchin. Yeah, that could, be a, that could be a very good player if it didn't take most of those skills. <laughs> like, it's still good. It's still good. It's just weird, right? The, juggernaut's, the juggernaut is the worst thing because it's anti-synergistic yes. with the wrestle. That you've taken first, and then, what, like, like at least the wrestle and the tackle makes sense. Uh, well, like... at least the wrestle and the tackle together makes sense, but not taking dodge yeah. with uh, with uh, Arch Four is pretty terrible. You want dodge and sidestep with Juggernaut. You want strip ball with Juggernaut. You want block ju with Juggernaut. You don't like. Yeah, it's two different players. Yeah, it's half of two different players put together and don't. Yeah. Ah, fair enough, Mordred. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing. Now oh, that's fair enough then if you took the tackle specifically for that. But yeah, you know, and ra Rackle makes sense, right? It does make sense yeah. to go wrestle tackle. But Arch 4 desperately wants dodge, and Juggernaut desperately wants block. Ah, <laughs> uh, cut you the wolf right before you be here. Uh... Sneaky. I'm not sure it's for cutting a werewolf, depending on how developed it is, to, to not give the berserk like well, it's probably better. I mean, his other wolf might have been, <laughs> might have been sneaky, get dirty player. <laughs> Banter. How did Norse even get this far? That's a good question. That's a good question. I mean, look at the previous game. There was a completely nothing dwarf team and two and a completely nothing human team. Um, there's been a lot of like not great teams qualified for this chalice, I think. And uh, yep. Also, Norse have uh, Norse have one chalice, and they can win any individual game. But they struggle in certain matchups, but the issue North face is not winning a game. It's winning five games and having a team after the third. Yes, yeah. And like even the individual games, like they're really dicey, aren't they? Like even on an individual level, they're, they're like a pretty dicey yeah. team. It's they're very susceptible to just get the whole team banged out. But then also, I they want can to thank everyone who plays Nos in real life and just beat them Which to within inch of their right fucking here. line. Foul on a, th on a stunned fixed goal player. I don't <laughs> don't think is ever correct. <laughs> That might be down to respect, but I don't think that is one of the times where you are supposed to foul a physical player. No. Norse won Chalice. Yes, our Yeti. Yeah, they got. I mean, it, it's hard to count the Norse win of Chalice because, honestly, they you know they they got such an easy final. That it was a joke, really. Yeah. And honestly, like a small Norse team is better in a way, right? Because it gets Cheney. Um, <laughs> and like Cheney is better than any player you can build <laughs> manually on a <laughs> on a Norse team. Yeah, Norse are a team that is kind of paradoxically better small, but is very hard to not bloat. Mm. The team gets bloaty very very quickly. The linemen in particular, you should probably you should probably cycle linemen more often than people do. They're just not very good after a skill <laughs> ever. Unless they roll doubles for a guard. Yeah. Obviously he's gonna foul this uh 
fleshy, isn't it? Is he going to blitz first? He might as well, because he's piled on. Oh, is, is the wolf? No. Yeah, he's got to pom pom this guy. You've got to pom 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 pom. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's definitely going to be palming every turn, rolling our round bricks, on only on armor with fouls all the time. They are dicey and they are high berries, and that's how they get these one. So. Not fouling, not fouling the armor nine fixed skull there, running around, position, positioning his players, unbelievable, Jeff. Imagine not fouling armor nine fixed skull region in the first half. Maybe that's it's what you should probably be doing most of the time. <laughs> they come back, they come back so often, and they don't go out most of the time. Norse have one challenge. Did you not know, Dwight? Yeah, the Norse one. But again, again, they had such an easy final opponent that it, it's 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 hard to you know, count them as a win, really. I like the choice of this turn for Necker to kind of get in. They got the Roker Flush Gold and stuff. They can get their guard in there. Hmm. They got a good blitz. The issue. Man, I don't know. Mm. I hate that re-roll. Oh, yeah. As someone who's a big proponent of um, duels on Undead, I can kind of see why you don't. This is kind of why I don't love them on uh, Necro, because you want to get in in different ways. You need more zombies at the base on like, Undead. So, the duel kind of struggles to find a place to get in in these matchups. Oof. That's a lovely block. Yeah. I would have just, I mean, I, it got the foul there, but that foul was so risky, right? He could have just assisted mm -hmm. there and punched this guy. And yeah. instead he goes in there, and if he doesn't break AV, then he can just get his, uh, and just get things hurt and stuff. And I don't know, I, mm -hmm. I didn't like it, but uh, the he's got the Zerk, has got the ball. Oh, wow. So he just frenzy, friend he necro blitzes himself in there. That's uh, interesting. Gets the armor break to make it <laughs> not terrible. Save, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he had guard next to him as well, and he strength four, but it's pretty weird. Like if he got the I mean, push has, and then the second yeah. hit, he's he is really mm -hmm. in a lot of trouble. That was yeah, pretty rowdy. Oh, there's a skull. How so, lucky can you be? Yeah, diced again. So you get quite a lot over here. Uh, I mean, this is actually really good for, for Dung here because obviously the Strength 5, oh no. The Strength 5 uh, could be tagged by a by a zombie, right? And then you can 2 plus away from him. Or we could sell out to hit it with Claw. Naked Claw. Yeah, this is bad. Really bad. This is the perfect time to get everybody over there. And he's blitzed an irrelevant guy. And he's put on 2 players to hit the strength five yeah i think this was a real bad turn for the drive it might be good for the game <laughs> if he random if he rando casts this off but it was really bad for the drive if he and my evil on that wolf and not juggernaut i might like it more but he does have juggernaut so i don't yeah that's that was not good enough for the drive, that's that's too much. Nope, Dublé skulls. And <laughs> imagine <laughs> if he had half his team over here now after <laughs> after that. But he doesn't. Still got enough. Still got enough to 2D the ball, to be fair. That Finn is actually quite useful, I think. I feel like mm -hmm. that Zombie would have liked to have followed there. Like yeah, well it, it made him hit with the uh, it made him hit with the zombie, right? Otherwise he would have yeah. hit with the uh, with the fleshy and follow. Mm -hmm. The uh the Norse are getting the fuck beat out of him. So. <laughs> He'd used his reroll earlier in the turn, I'm pretty sure, Mordred. I don't know what on. 
put it. I mean, he couldn't. He just ate those goals and he's insane. But I think he had to use the reroll. Well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he used a reroll early in the turn. I, I don't know what. I'm but eating the skulls there was yeah, it was pretty mental. I'm sure. I'm sure it was like grayed out when I looked at it. Burn the riddle on the jump up fail. Oh man. Oh, oh man. God. That was pretty greedy, wasn't it? Okay, so I take it back, he was insane. <laughs> yeah. To not use a reroll on the dub skulls. Because there's no reason he shouldn't have had a reroll for the dub skulls. Yes. Correct. I see old burners, and I know they're supposed to be good. They are so clearly the worst one player the They're just oh. so bad. Well, they look better than a they look better than a yeah. flesh goal now. Well, for three turns, they'll look better than a flesh goal, and then they'll be back and have guard and be better again. <laughs> in my in my defense, I didn't know it read. <laughs> oh, rolls a one. Got to re-roll that. Oh man. Oh man. This is a one into two for the uh for the wolf, but not too much chance to get the counter score by the looks of things. Depends obviously a lot on how this goes here. The agility for wolf always means that a counter score is always on, really. It's not that hard, especially if it's to roll twos. Okay, I don't like going for the recovery with the wolf, though. I think I want the wolf to upfield. Huh. But if you have infinite movement, and you're willing to do all the geophys, yeah. I guess. Yeah, if you roll all the dice, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> two, 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 three, two, two. <laughs> I mean, I have assurance for recovery, but why, why use that? Yeah. There you go. See, Ulf's also the best strength four player. Well, I'm only strength five, so. <laughs> yes, but he's still an Ulf, so therefore he's. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've got guard, instant 2D on the ball. Oh, scoring threat. Love to see it. Of course, he's going to have to dodge to hit with tackle. Oh, he is! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Imagine thinking the Enormous weren't going to do the dodge. Mmm. It's a little bit greedy, isn't it? But, gets the pom. Doesn't get the armor break. But now he has this guy to do the recovery in a slightly worse way. Oh, can he not get there? Yeah, I couldn't get yeah. there. He's a, he's a, he's not a runner, is he? I thought he's a runner, and he's not. He's, he should be a runner, but he's a lineman. Oh, he's just a lineman. Yeah. I thought he might have been a thrower. <laughs> yeah. Norse runners do feel overpriced, but I understand. So I'm just trying to find out why you don't want to take one. But I've always kind of liked Norse runners. It's the movement I think is. But like you're paying ninety, you're paying forty k for Dauntless and plus move, so it's not exactly value you're getting. You know, it's getting you dodge though, right? That's the thing. Like once yeah, you're paying yeah. sixty for movement and dodge, then it becomes pretty good. Mhm. Mm and technically, you get sidestep eventually, but it's a long way away, so it's yeah. You can almost get that away from the equation. And Dauntless is useful sometimes. Dauntless is useful, particularly on Norse. Um, you can have issues with strength because of the lack of limited guard access and the desire to get mighty blow and block mm. because old furs are bad. And like you don't really have a lot of players that want to take guard as their first strength access skill. Yeah. It's funny because you're desperate for guard but you still just have to palm. <laughs> you yeah. just have to take mighty and palm and everything. They have to kill things quicker than they die basically. Oh. And then some shitty palms, oh. but he's got a scoring chance. Yep, yeah, that's really nice for him. 
Really nice. One, two, three, four, five, six up to here. It's not a, it's not terrible. It's pretty bad, but it's not terrible. Well, he's not I wonder if he's supposed to do the dot. Yeah, I wonder if he's supposed to do the dodges there. But I don't know the. It doesn't focus either way. I guess you weren't supposed to do the dodges. No, yeah. Oh man! Oh. Gets the dodge. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. <laughs> wow. I, lo I, I, I love the uh, Norse celebration. I just don't like watching it because it means Norse have scored. But it's the animation is brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> if only Chaos Warriors did that when they scored. <laughs> Norse of. Wonderful animations across the team, really, with the Shawn Michaels elbow drops and uh, every all the old stuff is pretty good, and the touchdown celebrations, mm. are pretty good. Yeah. Remember when passing was all P? No. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Good thing that Blood Bowl 3 and Blood Bowl 2020 will make passing better by making so that that play doesn't happen. Because it would have failed on a 5, it failed on a 4, so it would have been a 5 plus. Yep. Might have Actually, been a six it would have been a, it would have been a 6 plus because uh, he wouldn't have agility. The agility wouldn't have applied to the passing role. Yeah. That's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> mm, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> That's how it's done, Mr. Thoreau. So there's a there's a chance of a one turn. But oh. Ooh. Alright, now does he do what everyone does, which is make their quick their one turn touchdown chance worse? <laughs> I think he can't make his one turn chance worse, because his one turn chance was already so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but um oh he has done it worse yeah so what he what he had to do there was um this guy goes down these two both go across right that's that's better than, than not doing that so he, he hasn't done it correctly um was it possible unlikely but it, the quick snap made it made the quick snaps made it so much better like using the whole method is pretty bad but the quick yeah. snap, it just make, makes so much difference, right? If this guy had moved down and these two both moved across, so he just gets the two into two, you know, and all the way across, and then but as it is, these this is pretty pretty not good. Yeah, he just rolls a power anyway instantly. Like, it's so unlikely. Yeah. Well, now he still gets, he should, he still gets a hit, right? Yeah, he just moves his zombie in now. So. I would, uh, I would punch this guy. <laughs> Wait, what can I do? I, you could punch. Nah, yeah. Okay. So the, yeah, this this is the this is the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get. And now he gets, still, still gets another hit. Yeah, yeah. gets an extra block. Gets the three D with mighty blow. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I don't think he can get the zombie. He has to do the zombie. Yeah, because he can't fill in the spot otherwise. Oh, three. Oh, he's still going for the one turn. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. I would just punch things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard. He's got the handoff and then a pass with the Jody 4 to a Jody 4. And then the Jody 4 dodges. There you go. Yeah. Alright, wow, okay. Oh, man. Oh, man, he was a 4 2 away. Flip me. I'd have literally just given up after I was just trying to get more hits for the wolf. <laughs> I was literally, oh, this is great. This gets an extra block for the wolf. Yeah, yeah. I guess because he already he's already one up, and then that got him yeah. two, and then yeah, I just need this one. So yeah, he did the right thing. Yeah, well, probably ish. <laughs> he maybe needed to do the handoff rather than or do the pass closer rather than a handoff. But maybe if you don't get the power, maybe it's. So I guess it's a two. The two four versus a four two, so it's the same. But if you fail the pass earlier, um, you don't do all the dodges. So I guess you would still do that. Yeah, it's a two. Well, then you have the intercept chance, which you didn't there. So maybe he, he probably maybe could have handed it off earlier, right? He probably could have handed it off when it was in one tackle zone. Hmm. Yeah, then that might have been the. Mm -hmm. 
that that's the order you're supposed to do. You do the handoff at the beginning. Yeah. Do you go for the quick score heroes though? No. Right. Kind of feels like he's setting up for a quick score. Yeah, he's definitely setting up for a quick score here with the. You down a guard or yeah. a fleshy. And they're at eleven, with nothing important or move even. Mm. I mean, you've got to try and stall it out and get to overtime. Yeah. Yeah, the pass could have been done before anything. Yeah, yeah. I think I think doing the pass before any chaining was the best play. Or maybe even a handoff. I don't know exactly what would have been the highest starts. It's just kind of unnatural, I think, because um, in almost other other all other scoring plays, you want to do the easier stuff first but with one turn because the easy stuff can be um, both so hard and kind of so risky for your player safety. It can often better do that slightly harder thing earlier. It's also just get harder in the end anyway, so just do it when it's easy and available for you. If it fails, it's fine. Mm, but the thing is, of course, there's the element of punching things as well, and so you want to punch things. Like, do you know what I mean? Failing a punch by powering a guy. Yeah. Is, and then casting him is better than failing a handoff. <laughs> and then just not scoring. So, but yeah. I've Definitely, thought... yeah, it's more of a decision at turn 8 than turn 16, of course. Turn 16, mm. who cares about punching guys? It's not going to give you equity for the match. Mm. Classic squirrels not caring about punching things since they don't have any hands. Uh, hey! I <laughs> use our hands when we have our feet and our giant teeth. You can't <laughs> punch things with your feet, can you? That's a kick. <laughs> also, yeah. our hands are for grabbing and hiding nuts. Indeed. No, the squirrels have no hands. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Only Acorn has no hands. <laughs> I thought he was the uh, the poor father of all squirrels. <laughs> he might be, but it, you know they may have they may have developed hands. We will never know. <laughs> Squirrel, all father. <laughs> Acorn. Nah, nah. If he gets famous enough from playing Blood Bowl, he might become that. Yeah. You've got He's to, like, obviously you've good. got to pile on, right? Because there's no reason not to, because you've got to jump up. But, um, man, it feels sure feels bad p piling on a zombie, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Uh, more of an issue of targeting than it is a decision afterwards. I mean, it's, but... it's like, also a, a result of Vlad positioning pretty well, right? Um, screening off his good players from any piling on hits. Um, Dumb, yes. Dumb. Yeah. Dung is the. Uh... Oh, Dung is Necro. Sorry. Necro. Yeah. Oh, this is. Uh, is he just going to run back with the ball? Has he just realised that <laughs> <laughs> he's got to protect the ball? <laughs> he went there and then. Uh, oh, no, no, he's just changed them. Okay, so yeah, he can have an extended cage. Oh, okay. I don't like this at all, actually. But. Feel like he's got the strength five holds for him. I was very excited about this, about what he can do next turn. Hmm. Classic, classic foul. Yeah. I didn't mean like it, it just invites invites this edge for getting hit, doesn't it? And on the topic of, you know, uh, piling on a zombie not feeling good, also doesn't feel good to get sent off for fouling a dauntless lineman. <laughs> <laughs> True. Or a stun. For really anything. <laughs> I'm sure a cast would be worthwhile. Yeah. I mean, at least if it's a cast, like you can feel like, all right, I didn't lose anything from the spell, but now we actually went negative on the foul. Or... Oh, he's going to blitz him back. Is he going to blitz him back? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah, this is the issue that I have with caging up like this. Um, is that you? It's so easy to contain your team afterwards, right? Yeah. Um, and like Necro aren't really that fast. Yeah, Necro are weird, right? Loads of people love to say how fast ne Necro are. It's like, well, you know, two of their players are, <laughs> or one in yeah. this case. But all the rest, like, you know, there's lots of movement for them. It's... So, like, yeah, they have responsiveness on defense, but their offensive drives are characterized by deep shit as fuck. Like, it's a dwarf drive, essentially. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but with better potato potential. Yes. And less penetration required. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, requires a two pivot of the flesh golems to be kind of active and moving stuff until they can get the breakaway turn, or suddenly the team goes from being a movement four team to a movement six and seven team, just instantly with a drop of that. Uh, it's much more like an undead driving that way, where suddenly the team gets fast when one two, but it can only do that for a short period. Yeah. Yeah, um, like undead are similar, right? They've got four ghouls yeah. instead of two ghouls and two uh, two wolves, so it's. Mm -hmm. Norse do have a wisdom of it, yeah. He's holding it for as long as possible, isn't he? He's I think it's actually pretty fair to hold it, it uh, yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's one of those well, things that... where you evaluate if you need to take a, a one dice on a coach, right? And you're like, eh, they're just going to keep giving me shots on the ball. This offense feels so weak. You yes. can hold that wizard. You don't need to use yeah. it. Oh man. Well, don't say it's over, but um, it's looking very, very bad. We might see the wizard I mean, next it's, turn. It's potato o'clock in the end. That's when the wizard is, uh, is going to be. So next yeah. turn. Yeah. So next turn is when it's coming, because the potato is coming. Yeah. Next turn, there is no other play. The potato is coming. Mm -hmm. Potato juice. All over Jim. <laughs> Oh, he hadn't even blitzed yet. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a skull. There's a one in nine. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh... All right. So, uh... Yeah, that... the back is the only place. That's that's good. It is a potato, it's a reverse potato, it's the only place you could potato to. It's oh. a late starting DACA. It's a very... <laughs> and then the lack of dodge grounds the wolf. I think I see a foul next turn. Yeah, there might be a foul, yeah. Yeah, I hate yeah. having sack on that wolf. Like, I, I appreciate that it's a sacker, but, uh, like, not having dodge in your wolf is just so fucking shit. Yeah, but oh, Mordred said it. it was probably taken specifically to fight his Dark Elves in the Cup, which is oh, makes right. more sense then, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And but Dom's a wrestle first choice is still. Yeah, no, I hate the wrestle first choice wolf. That's just not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> also, where's the second wolf? It, it apparently was... got fired to deny Mordred a wizard, so this team looks like it crippled itself. So we could win the last game, which worked, but uh, it is still oh, yeah. not in a good shape for this matchup in any yeah. shape or form. Mm. I mean, fair play, right? If you're not that used to a uh, chalice, like, try to get as far as possible and then, like, take it one match at a time. I uh, think that's, that's very reasonable uh, until you feel like you're in a spot that you're, yeah, yeah, right. When I enter Chalice, I want to win Chalice. Oh, the cut also, wolf was there... strength busted, so that makes it a lot uh, easier. Oh, to cut. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that makes it a lot easier to cut. Yes. <laughs> that's that's less that's less about cutting it to stop the wizard and more about cutting it because it's <laughs> shit. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Something to the, to that. <laughs> There's uh, also the nature of just cutting. I know try cut a lot of players, but if your team's pretty solid, you can just keep cutting around the edges and not hit your core, and just make it easier yeah. to advance every game after game after game. That's pretty valuable. It's a good skill to keep in mind. You don't want to just go into each game like, eh, I don't care about it. Do something. I'll just keep a full wizard all the time. It's cool. That's that's gonna come back to bite you eventually. Yeah, but it, and as I said, like, all right, it's you have to evaluate, like, where, where, where am I, and where are my expectations, and what are my goals. Um, yeah, and that um, take that into account in the cutting process, of course. Yeah, I think it this guy has to put this wolf that... door here, right? Put this wolf here, so you've got a safety first of all. That'd be my first move. Hmm. Yeah. An old for a berserk or something with maybe. Like a lineman with tackle as well, just something back there. Yeah, maybe it's two tacklers. Maybe it's both tacklers, right? Yeah. A tackler there and a tackler there to cover the field. Looks like he's doing that a little bit. You, I think the blitz is going to be on the. Uh, I mean, the blitz has to be on this werewolf, right? 
Uh, it yeah. sure looks like it, yeah. Choose really Yeah, but it's experienced enough. He knows. Didn't do a stupid GFI to hit the ball. Just hit the relay. No possible, possible potato yeah. thing. So I've got two players, one's you know, I need to go one. Obviously got the wizard to cover anything. Yeah. Any kind of breakaway. I don't like that tackle coming up at the very end, but um because I think trading two for one that Ulf at this point in the game is incredible. Mm. So I don't think you want to tackle there at all really. I have no idea how the Necro could open score though, like. <laughs> no, it's it's not easy, is it? Hmm. Is he in range with GFIs? He is, right? So the wizard fizzles and then he fails the uh, dice on the ball mm. for three turns. <laughs> <laughs> and, I know. Uh... And like a maniac starts playing like shit with his positioning. <laughs> <laughs> I like Dung going for the dodge hit on that uh, Agi 4, because the Agi 4 is the obvious recovery on a bull. So, making the Agi 4 can't get in might keep the wizard from coming yeah. in. So, yeah. I do think he needs to foul this werewolf, though. Like, he, I would gang foul it, because you have time to recover and get back to stop the ball, even if you commit to the gang foul. Yeah, like, you, it's, it, you're, you, you're bringing this guy back anyway, right? Like, that's the thing, yeah, there yeah. you go. Like, that's like a natural, a natural assist on it, which is good. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I love the unskilled diamond going to base the white. I, didn't have to. I think I would have really wanted to go for this gang foul. Mm. The, it's such an obvious like relay and scoring throughout that you know suddenly makes the lightning bolt like if it stuns the cool the drive is over. Period. So two guys in the balls also seems good. Yep. That's the foul. Yeah, but he has got the 3 plus 2 plus out with the uh, wolf, hasn't he? Two yeah. ways two ways to get the wolf out in a 3 2. Yeah. Which is not oh, ideal. It's a 3 3, three now, right? Well, it's, no, it's yeah, three, two. Three, 3 2 this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then he makes no forward progress, which he kind of well, has to. Well, kind of none, but. He could have got enough, right? He could have gone yeah. 1, 2, 3, Good. 4, Good. 5, 6, 7, 8. Could have got to there, double GFI'd, bolted. Did he need that last GFI? Oh. I don't think so. Like, he didn't. No. Uh, I don't think even on a knockdown he's out of scoring range without the GFI, so I'm just thinking maybe he's going to come back and get knocked down. He gets yeah, out. but you need the reroll for the getting free to pick the ball up, and then... Um, there you go. I mean, he's probably just thinking, fuck it, right? Yeah. yeah, it's probably it's probably the thought process there more than anything. Yeah. It's just like yeah. Fuck it. yeah. <laughs> but, Roll the dice there. You feel like you need to. Yeah, and he gets bolted and removed. So there's only this. Uh, there's only this <laughs> zombie left. <laughs> I think it's chain pushed forward. Yeah, I mean he might just punch it with a with a strength four and push it in the range. And yeah, only push it forward and not push it to the side. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we, we've seen Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> I spent today reading about rogues in 5e, by the way. Oh, now really? I'm now I'm sad. <laughs> 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 I, there's such a fucking cool rogue build. Like, where, uh, um, let me see what it's called. Uh, Phantom Rogue. It's and it's like uh, I could do damage like you basically, um, if not more, and then still play the way that I'm currently playing, mm. um, where you like collect souls, souls from the dead, uh, and then do necrotic damage like with the help of that. <laughs> And then in the end, you take on a ghostly presence, and like you become more and more. <laughs> this was <dead>. so <laughs> bad. This GFI, by the way, you could just blitz yeah. him with like a random dude and surf the ghoul, and instead he just ended up GFI oh, and no, killing himself. Dead. That was hideously bad. 
Yeah, you, it was also it was all pointless. Yeah, it was all pointless. Yeah, but like surfing the goo would have been fine, right? You could have just put a player here and hit from yeah. there and surfed him, like just with without any GFIs or anything. <laughs> it just didn't. Still not surfing that goo, which is again pointless. But you know, could have done it. Wow, that was his strength up. Well, yeah, he could have just lost his strength up wolf. He could have literally just lost it, dead, to a pointless GFI. Pointless bloody GFI! But there you go, he got away with it. And, uh... Had a really clean one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that... Whew. Um, so there you go. Commiserations to Dung. Congratulations to Vlad GR. Thank you very much. Daedal, Quist, and Squirrel Dude. Absolutely glorious having you fellas in the booth. Yep. <laughs> yep. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.